This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Wednesday, March 18th, 2015. Euro dollar. So a nice development with the euro on Tuesday with the market breaking a sequence of 13 consecutive daily lower highs, taking out the Monday high at 106.20. At this point, a break back above the Tuesday high now at 106.50 will do a good job of confirming the onset of this correction, and this could open the door for a more significant upside towards previous support in the 111 area or 110.98. Daily studies are now in the process of turning up from oversold, while weekly and monthly studies are still well oversold and in desperate need of a correction. However, inability to break back above 106.50 uh, on Wednesday, followed by a break and close below 105.50, will keep the immediate pressure on the downside and suggest deeper setbacks are ahead below the recent lows that we saw at 104.63. Sterling Dollar Cable has recently broken down below previous support in the form of the 2015 low that had been in place at 49.51, and this break confirms a lower top in the 155.50 area and opens the next downside extension towards 143.50 further down. Sterling sits at five-year lows against the dollar right now, and any rally should be very well capped into the 153 area ahead of a bearish resumption. At this point, only back above the high that we saw back on the 26th of February at 155.53 would compromise the current bearish outlook. Dollar Yen. So Dollar Yen has been locked within a consolidation, a very tight consolidation over the past several sessions, with the market recently breaking, or since the market re recently broke above the previous seven-year high from December at 121.85. Gains haven't been able to extend very far at this point, with the market only trading up just above 122 ahead of this latest minor setback. Ultimately, the highly constructive outlook for dollar yen remains intact, and any setbacks, if we do see, should be very well supported into the 118 area, while only back below 115.55 would compromise the bullish outlook. Ultimately, the break above 121.85 does open the door for a medium term upside extension towards the next measured move at 128.15. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has been recovering since that major setback that we saw back in January, with the market now locked in a consolidation roughly between or between 104.15 and 108.15. At this point, a higher low is now sought out, potentially by recent lows at 105.15, ahead of the next upside extension and a continuation of this recovery above 108.15 and towards psychological barriers at 110 further up. Only back below 104.15 would compromise the recovery outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar remains locked within its well-defined downtrend, recently consolidating uh, latest declines and a break back below the lows that we saw back on the 11th of March. Those multi-year lows at 75.60 would would open the door for the next downside extension, with the market eventually seen towards a measured move objective now at 73.35. At this point, any rally should be very well capped ahead of 78, while only back above 79.13 would compromise the bearish outlook. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has been consolidating or has recently broken above a consolidation at 128, uh, the consolidation high at 128, which was a previous five year high. And this sets the stage for the next upside extension in this market towards the 2009 peak at 130.65. But a break and a close now above 128 will be required to open the door for an acceleration towards the 130.65, while inability to close above 128 will put the pressure back on the downside a little bit into the recent consolidation zone, but ultimately any setback should be very well supported now ahead of 125 with only a break back below 123.50 to compromise the bullish outlook for dollar CAD. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi remains locked within a more well-defined, broader downtrend, but the market has been trading in a range between 71.76 and 76.14 in recent trade. However, a break below 71.76 is favored given the broader downtrend, with that move opening a fresh downside extension towards a measured move objective at 67.35. At this point, any rally should be very well capped ahead of 75, while only back above 76.14 would compromise the bearish outlook. A break below 71.76 would confirm a lower top at 76.14. 
SPX 500. The S&P 500 has been showing signs of a top in recent weeks, though the market has recently recovered off support at 2040 at back towards the 2100 area. There is some solid resistance at 2087, which should cap gains and keep this topish outlook intact, while only back above 2105, the high that we saw back on the 6th of March would compromise the topish outlook and open a more immediate retest and break above the recent record highs at 2100. If the market rolls back over and takes out 2040, the topish structure is reaffirmed and this will accelerate declines down towards psychological barriers at 2000. Gold. So gold remains under intense pressure since rallying up to uh, multi-week, multi-month highs um, at thir- around 1308 back on the January 22nd and has been since in a very intense downtrend trading back towards the critical 2014 base at 1131. At this point, a full retracement towards 1131 is expected, though the market once testing this level could start to find some renewed support. A break and close below 1131 would, however, open the door and expose a more significant downside extension towards critical psychological barriers at 1000. At this point, we need to see a break and close back above 1167, the high that we saw back on the 12th of March, to take the immediate pressure off the downside in the gold market.